Good morning and welcome on this Wednesday morning to the rectory as we gather together for our daily prayers in Ta here in Tafwin Up Ministry area. Well, the weather's changed, it's raining, so we're back to our normal spring weather, but it's beautiful to see the snowdrops, the crocuses and everything else beginning to grow in our gardens. Spring has truly sprung and we're emerging from the wetness, the cold and the damp of winter into the glorious joy of spring. Uh, just to give you a heads up that as we move into June, we are going to be involved in St. Mary's Church in um, Open the Door, which is a, a national initiative for welcoming people into our churches. And we're going to be doing some activities with schools and with the community in our churchyard, as well as opening up our church tower for tower tours. So if you'd like to come along, look out for that on our website as we approach uh, the other side of Easter and look out for the details and come along. Join us as we celebrate and welcome our community and celebrate God's creation around us. For today's prayers, of course, it's budget day, so we're on to matters financial. And uh, we pray for our Chancellor. We pray also for the members of our government and opposition as they make decisions that affect all of our daily lives. You may not be aware, but our churches are classed as businesses as far as things like utility companies are concerned. So whilst there may have been an energy, an energy cap on expenditure for utility bills for our households, uh, that certainly hasn't been the case for our churches. And the cost of running four churches, four church halls, has been absolutely astronomical as our bills have multiplied by at least three and probably nearer four times what they used to be. So I commend that to you for your prayers and ask you to consider your support, your giving, if you're able to, for your churches. We play a vital role in the life and the spiritual life of our communities. But of course, they have to be paid for. So uh, a plug there, there's a donate button on our Facebook page. There's also a donate button um, on our YouTube page. So if you'd like to make a donation, you're very welcome to do so. Now, uh, it is the day of the budget, and I would like you in your personal prayers today to pray for those people in our community who will be impacted greatly by the decisions that are taken at lunchtime today. There will be businesses, there will be individuals, there will be people who are in receipt of various benefits in order to support them in their daily lives, for whom this will have a huge impact. So I ask you to pray for those whose lives will be impacted by the difficult decisions that our government has to take on our behalf today. And so on to our daily prayers. O oh Lord, open our lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Almighty God, you fed your people in the wilderness and guided them by cloud and fire, giving commandments to order their lives. Give us eyes to see your purpose, perseverance to follow where you lead, and courage to know the truth that sets us free, that our lives may be blessed and your will may be done. Blessed be God forever. Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your life laid down on the cross, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Saviour and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Glory to the Father, to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. God speaks words of comfort to his people through the prophet Isaiah. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. This is my comfort in my trouble. Your promise gives me life. God the Father, have mercy on us. God the Son, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Be exalted, Lord, above the heavens. May your glory cover the earth. Renew your church in holiness and give your people the blessing of peace. Keep our nation under your care and guide us in justice and in truth. Let your way be known on earth 
your saving power among all nations. Do not let the needy, O God, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Let us pray. Guide those who serve in public office, that they may work for the common good. Shelter those who suffer from hunger, sickness or loneliness, that the presence of Christ may bring them health and wholeness. I commend myself and all for whom I pray to the mercy and protection <coughs> of God, Almighty. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O God, you know us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers, that by reason of the frailty of our nature we cannot always stand upright. Grant to us such strength and protection as may support us from all dangers and carry us through all temptations. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the light of Christ shine in our hearts. Amen. Well, it's been a pleasure and a privilege to join with you in our daily ministry prayers once again as we journey through Lent towards the cross. In your personal prayers today, I'm inviting you to pray for our Chancellor and to pray for all those affected by the decisions made in today's budget. Pray for those who will, as a result of the budget, find themselves financially worse off than they have been and will therefore be struggling. It's a challenging time for everyone and if you find yourself in that position, do say a prayer for yourself as well, as I will for you. Uh, we commend all the decisions that are being taken today in the spirit in which they are made, in the spirit of care, compassion and hope for those in our community who are most in need. It is imperative on us as Christians that we serve the poor, that we serve the lowliest members of our community and meet their needs. So I commend that to you for your prayers today and we pray and we will pray together tomorrow once again. So I look forward to seeing you at nine o'clock tomorrow morning. God bless and goodbye.